Hey guys, it's Nixara and today I'm here with a crazy FPS boost. This is gonna be a full guide to optimize your Windows, Steam, Nvidia and CS2 settings even. So you can enjoy CS2 again with maximum FPS which is your PC is capable of. So let's start the video. So let's start with the first step which is Windows optimization. This is gonna be a little bit more beginner friendly part but as the video goes on it's gonna be way more advanced so it can help for everybody so the first step press your window key type in game mode and here make sure to uh, set game mode to on so it's gonna help your windows to be optimized for gaming basically and after you can click on graphic settings here you will find hugs hardware accelerated gpu scheduling make sure to turn this off i tried both and if you have this setting on on it just creates some input lag but doesn't help anything with your fps so i highly recommend to turn this setting off and here you will find your cs2 you can uh, press browse and uh, this is the folders you need to find steam steam apps common counter strike global offensive game bin bin64 bin and here you will need to add cs2 which i already did and you need to click on cs2 and set on options high performance and save it so the next you need to do basically to press your window key type in choose a power plan and here you need to find ultimate performance this is not automatically added to your pc this option so if you don't find these settings you need to type in cmd command prompt you will run this as administrator this is very important and now you can copy and paste this command which i'm gonna leave in description and even on the screen so if you want to type it you can type it but the easiest way basically is just to control c from my description and add it here press space and you will have this option and you can turn this on so now we need to press window key type in run and here you need to type in ms config press on ok and you need to go to boot section advanced options here you need to set your maximum processor cores this setting basically enables all your processor cores to work together and you need to press on apply and after you can press on ok and you need to restart your computer so this settings is gonna work so the next step basically to press window key type in windows powershell run this as administrator and now we can copy and paste this command I'm gonna leave this in the description obviously so you can copy and paste this we're gonna press enter to run it so once the windows utility is loaded you will find tweaks and here you will find recommended selections press standard here you will find essential tweaks and it's gonna show you what it's gonna do with your pc but you don't need to worry it's just basically some automatically windows installate uh, stuff it's gonna turn off which is completely useless for most of the peoples like disable location tracking it's create your restore point delete temporary files so you don't need to worry about this and by the way these tweaks are from a tech channel who almost have 1 million subscribers so you don't need to worry it's not a virus you can use this safely and obviously you have the restore point so if you don't like the changes you can always go back to your old settings and uh, here you need to press run tweaks and when you press this it's gonna open cmd it's gonna run some commands and once it's finished you need to restart your pc so this settings gonna work with your pc and here's a bonus tip which i like to do every week once you need to press run and here you need to type in temp you can delete here some temporary files you do this again but you need to add this uh, and temp i'm not exactly sure how it's called in english you can uh, delete some temporary files here as well and uh, after you can type in prefetch and here you can again delete some temporary files you can do this every week once and if you go to delete temporary files you type this in windows you will find here temporary files and here you can click the files that you don't need anymore 
and remove files. As you can see, I have 2.4 gigabytes, obviously with the recycle bin, but uh, you remove files. I usually do this every once in a week and I delete a lot of useless files. And now it's already done. So we reached the second part of the video where I'm gonna reveal my NVIDIA settings for the highest FPS and best performance for your PC. And if you have an AMD card, I'm sorry, you just need to scroll to Steam or CS2 section and you will find some useful tips, but this is only for the NVIDIA guys. So make sure to right click on your desktop, go to NVIDIA control panel and here go to adjust image settings with preview. Use the advanced 3D image settings, click on this and after you can go to manage 3D settings. I'm not gonna explain every setting because you can find the description and you will see what it does. I just gonna show my settings and if you feel you can copy and paste it. Mm, I'm gonna scroll it slowly and now you can copy and paste it. Okay, so if you are done, I just wanted to talk about one thing low latency mode you see this i use this on ultra but if you use inside cs2 options if you use nvidia reflex you shouldn't use this setting so if you use a reflex in game make sure to have this setting turned off but if you don't use because for example for me spraying feels very very weird if i use a reflex in game so i just simply don't use it and here i can kind of make the same input lag as when I uh, use a reflex so I just have this on ultra this is one thing I wanted to talk about before and on configure surround physics I use my video card on physics settings I just put my video card and I save it basically this is my settings and our G-Sync I don't use G-Sync at all because it creates some input lag and I just simply don't use this so now we reach to the third part where I'm gonna reveal my Steam settings and these settings are actually very very good because nobody really talks about these things but it can dramatically improve your FPS in CS so make sure to open your Steam, right click on Counter Strike 2, go to properties this is the launch options that I currently use, minus no reflex this gives you a little FPS boost if you don't use a reflex but I have this setting in NVIDIA control panel set to ultra as I showed you before. Threads 13, I use 13 because if you press ctrl alt delete go to task manager and go to performance you will see your logic R process source here. I have 12 so I need to add plus one more and I use 13 at the end. So if you have 8 you need to add plus one more you just put threads 9. And all of third party software this, you don't need to use this at all, I just use it for recording. So the next basically is go to controller, you need to disable steam input, it can help you a lot with input lag as well, but it's a good setting to turn it off, if you don't play with the joystick, turn the setting off, yeah. Go to workshop, and here I wanted to talk about, if you have a lot of maps that landed to your workshop, like surfing, pre-fire maps, blah 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 blah, but you don't use them anymore, just make sure to delete these maps because it's gonna load with your CS as well and it can take some FPS away from you. So once we are done with the CS settings, we can go to Steam, go to settings here and friends, friends and chat, you need to find this option, enable animated avatars, this should be disabled, this is the moving toilet and some animated avatars take some fps away for basically no reason because i think it's very useless to watch a toilet go around and uh, after you can go to interface you can copy my settings here as well feel free and uh, if you are done with this go to library this is the most important part basically make sure to copy these settings this can improve your fps by a lot and after you are done with these settings you can go to game recording Make sure to recording should be on off as well and the remote play should be disabled and go to broadcast make sure broadcasting should be on disabled as well because this 
settings can take some FPS away from you, so make sure to use the settings that I show you. And guys, this is the last part where I'm gonna reveal my CS2 settings, so make sure to subscribe if you haven't done already, and let's jump to the settings, go to settings menu, go to video here, and I use 4x3 and this resolution that I use, most of the pros still use this resolution, and some of them use full HD, but if you have FPS problem, I highly recommend to use this resolution because this is gonna give you the most FPS and I think it's probably the best resolution in the game. After we can go to advanced video. This is my settings, boost player controls disabled, vCynic, gCynic is disabled both. Make sure to disable this because this can give you a lot of input lag for FPS games, I don't recommend it. Uh, maximum, maximum FPS in game, this should be set to zero and you can unlock all your FPS while playing and press it. Basically you can copy this, but I wanted to talk about multi -sapping. I have this on Forex because it's, I don't know, for me it's, the game looks a little bit better, prettier, so I use it on Forex, but if you really want to max out your FPS you can use none or CMA2, this is both two uh, very good option. And about shadows, before it was updated, you had to use high to get advantage versus people who use low but they fixed this problem so now you can use low and you can still see the shadows all the shadows that you need to see and you're not gonna get low fps because of shadows so yeah this is my settings you can uh, copy it and one thing i wanted to talk about is audio you go to voice here and you need to find this setting voice and here you need to find streamline push to talk I have this set to yes, because if you have this on no, it can create you a lot of strutters, a lot of FPS problems, a lot of FPS drops, so just make sure to use this on yes. And the uh, last thing I wanted to talk about is a rate. I have this set to 1 million. In Generally in CSGO it was something like uh, this number, like six, 6 numbers only, and now I can use 1 million, this is the best rate. This gives you a little bit advantage with uh, ping and servers and I don't know. So use rate 1 million, this is the maximum in CS2. And yeah, that's all guys. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if any of these tips help you to gain FPS. And see you in the next one.